Dr. Michael Jayakumar Devaraj will always be remembered for one of the great giant-killing acts of Malaysian politics. A leader of the Small Socialist Party of Malaysia, he contested under the PKR ticket in the 2008 general election. And he went on to beat eight-term incumbent Tun Sami Velu in Sungai Seput. But in the 2018 election, Dr. Jayakumar failed to defend his seat and even came in last in the four-cornered contest. Voters chose the relatively unknown Kesavan Subramaniam from PKR instead. You see, to be fair to my constituents, many of them begged us to use the PKR logo in Sungai Seput. They said, we would like to vote for you, but we want to vote for Pakatan Harapan. Please join Pakatan Harapan. But there were constraints. I couldn't turn my back on the party. They really felt that this election was about changing the government and we were not in Pakatan Harapan. So I don't take it personally. I felt that they were, in a way, caught in a bind. You know, they would like to vote for me as a PKR candidate. And that would be what many of them would be happy with. After being Pakatan Harapan's ally for years, Dr. Jayakumar said his Socialist Party is now definitely in the opposition. He believes that a consistent ideological analysis is lacking in the Malaysian discourse. The new government, he feels, needs to be challenged. I think it's a fantastic watershed event for Malaysia, you know, to have a new government after all this time. I think it's a big step forward and it's given a lot of hope to young people. Well, I think the new Attorney General, uh, the, the SPR, uh, having a new head, bringing several commissions to report directly to Parliament and not only the Prime Minister. Yeah, all these things I think are, are good steps and certain laws, they're now talking of changing the laws. What I'm not happy about, one would be the minimum wage because the, the wage council was going for 1,170 and you only went to 1,050. It's hardly keeping up with inflation over the last two years. And the other one I'm a bit worried about is the whole uh, health insurance you're talking about that I think will undermine the public health services. About now, only 10% of the senior specialists with more than 10 years of experience are in government service, 90% are in private. And you allow the private to expand further, it's going to pull even more top specialists from the government side into the private. So what we are saying in PSM is freeze, don't let them expand. What is there, let it be. When they expand, they do so at the expense of the, of the government sector. The BN and the Pakata in terms of economic ideology, there's hardly any difference. And that I think is why we need a party like the PSM around to bring a different viewpoint, a different narrative, a different uh, vision of what could be. That element, I think, is something which will catalyze discussion, you see. And I think it's very much required. After representing Sungai Siput in Parliament for a decade, he can now once again focus on grassroots activism. He's planning a comprehensive study to address poverty in rural areas.